Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's Rita, and it's uh, September 27th, Sunday afternoon. And I thought I'd get on and um, do a little work on the prayer journal. I um, apologize for the last video, maybe even the last two videos. The I haven't been in screen the whole time, and, and as I think I realized that the camera has been kind of, the arm that holds my camera uh, has been like slowly uh, falling down so that's I thought it was fine because I had it set but anyway um, I just uh, apologize for for that so um, I hope everybody's having um, a good day today and um, the weather's good we were uh, rainy and now it's cleared up and it's actually warm and I had to turn the air on I had the heat on in some d days uh, for a little while but I broke down and went went over and just turned it on now because it feels pretty warm in here to me. So um, let me explain too that um, the camera, the last video, the camera just kept going on and off and oh, it was just uh, a nightmare. So I'm going to show you what I finished doing. I was making this little wallet pocket here and um, I think we got to the part here where I was doing this little notebook and I had this little... Um, embellishment here and I was talking about making tags then I went to the front to um, start working up here and I made this little um, envelope from the little cutouts that I did uh, from tailor-made journals um, I told you that I bought uh, her kit that was uh, European letters and then uh, so she has the front and the back and you just make them in different sizes and so anyway I took one of those letters and put it here and made this little pocket and um, put a little lace here and then one of the words from the my porch print uh, and I'm sorry about all my bruising I just uh, it doesn't matter what I do I, I bruise all the time um, and it is what it is I don't know um, old age so anyway um, yeah I took one of those and, and put that on there Okay, so um, that is pretty much done except for putting uh, tabs in there and I might work on those as we're working today. The other thing I did um, a few videos ago when I was doing um, the little uh, pokey uh, golden book uh, journal, I had made one with one of those large envelopes that you get um, in the mail with advertisement or something and the envelope measures like nine and a half by six they vary in sizes but that was the one I had and um, so I did the same thing where you have a pocket inside here um, I collaged the outside with some leftover scrap uh, papers here and I don't know if I'll decorate that side or not but um, right now it's just you know Plain. And then inside, um, I put one piece of paper here, and then I did this page here because this gets folded over. So that's from the uh, back side, that piece of collage that I did. So on this one, I need to, I, and I stitched around the outside of it. This one I need to close uh, here to make a little pocket there. Now, as I've been making these, this pocket here is not very useful although I don't know maybe let's see now that I think about it, I do have these but I'm gonna go too far down um, yeah see it's just not it's just not useful if I flap this over like that now the next time I do this I'm going to cut it straight across here even so that the flap will end up here. In other words, I will be gluing it up here, which will leave this pocket open. Um, and then I will have two, two separate pockets. But I don't know, maybe, um, yeah, I need to glue that down this time. I, I've already sewn it and everything. So I'm just gonna glue this pot, part down. No one will know the wiser. And then we'll just have this one pocket on that side. I mean, you could put in a pocket over here if you wanted to put a pocket there. You could put another pocket here if you wanted a lot of pockets in this book, but it's pretty thick already uh, with that envelope. 
and um, but it's just a fun thing you know t to make it's just a little different than your normal pocket so I'm gonna um, put this glue here and I'm gonna keep that shut and I always uh, think I'm gonna get a wipe out ahead of time and I I never do okay so let me just oh my goodness I just wanted to get a clip just because this is thick and see I'm afraid it's not gonna even um, with the glitter glue it's tough to hold it down okay so right now Oh, I wanted to put some glue in there. Hold on, let me glue that real quick as well. Okay, let me just go down that with that. I may have to come back and glue that again. I don't know if I if it started dry too quickly. Okay, and then I put a little flap on there. And I was also, um, you know, I have these that came with the kit, and I think most, almost all the kits have something like this, or you, at one time you'll buy a kit. And I think it was on um, Rachel on Roxy Creations where she, instead of trying to cut this part out, she folded it in half like this. And in half like this, and then she cut this little section out like this instead of trying to cut out that, that, that little V, which I've always done because that's where you, the white is to cut. Okay, so then we're going to do this. This is just a little tip. Okay, so she did that. But then I was looking at it and I said, well, wait a minute, you know, what if I want to make another tab? I could make tabs like that. So what I did then, I took a piece of scrapbook paper, any paper you want. I probably should have saved that one because I might have been able to make a tag with it, but oh well. And then I put it on top of here like this. Well, actually, I think I put it, I cut it first, too. I lined it up. And then I cut this part here out. Or you, you know, you could just fold a piece there. And then I was going to cut it as it was sitting on here, but it's a little more difficult. So I went ahead and just drew that. And then I went along here and did that. Oh my gosh, I can't cut straight. I'm not trying to cut straight, I'm trying to cut a semicircle. But this one's a little bit too, yeah. So there you have it, another tab. See, I made this one too. So I thought that was a pretty clever, first of all, Rachel, you know, doing that, folding them in half first, then trim them, and then just setting them on top of a folded over piece of paper or anything and make some little tags. Because I've been making them on the Cricut, and that's kind of, you know, you, you can't make several colors. You, you know, you put your paper in and you cut out, you know, 20 of them at, at one time. So that made it kind of nice. Anyway, okay, so on with um, what's next here. We got our little book here, and we've got this. Now, the other tab that I was going to show you is this. And I, there was a name, somebody's name that made these. Um, I'm looking to see if I have any other pieces of scrap of paper big enough. And I don't right now, or have a a card. Let's see, that's too skinny. Okay, so this is just a piece of um, scrapbook paper. 
I, actually, it's cardstock. So I'm going to do it with this, though, just so you can see. And it's about oh three and a half inches. So you can cut that down to three and a half. Let me use my cutter. Okay, so I'll cut it down to three and a half. And it's folded in half like this so you can write up here and you can write down here. And then you take this section here and let's see how, let me see how long this needs to be. I don't want it too long. Okay, so we could probably cut off basically almost an inch. Let's see. Yeah, I would say an inch off of that. So let me do that real quick. I was just looking for some different things to do, and um, these came up on uh, YouTube videos, so I thought I'd give it a try. Instead of the same old tag every time, it gives it a little bit of fun. Okay, and then I'm going to take my punch here, which is like, I don't know who made this one, uh, Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart did it. And I don't have any more of these. And I didn't even know how they worked, actually. I because I've never really gotten into this. See, that was supposed to cut off right there, but I'm gonna just pretend. Okay, and then on this side. Good. Closer to the end. scraper thing it just takes the stuff off instantly I need a new one okay so that's cute now I'm going to put a little ink on that I better check and see if I'm recording yes I am I don't know what happened well I know one uh, part got cut off because I got a phone call and like I've told you before, um, you know, I can't turn it off because if it's something's going on with my mom, which I'm not sure if I told you, but she did fall and hurt her foot. And it's quite swollen and bruised. So, you know, you got to have your phone available. And then I don't know what happened after that. I guess the phone, I mean, my... I thought I was recording and I wasn't, or I don't know. So I thought surely I pushed that button, but anyway. Okay, okay. So that's just a little bit of fun. Now my question is, I don't think I'm going to decorate these at all because I think that, you know, if they take it out and they want to write um, across the whole thing, but I will make some sort of a tab here. So that one I'll put on that side, and this one on this side, like that. And I think that's cute. Now, um, I can put a flower there. I don't know if one of these tabs would work or not. I suppose it would because if I glue that to the outside they can still open it all the way up yeah maybe not nope I don't think they can because that would be a hindrance there okay so the thing to do then would be put something identifying it as a for a tab so let's see if I I took these um flowers I just don't know if I like pearls and I only have one little one there 
but see that would give you a tab sort of thing or not or maybe they don't need a tab let's see what else could I put there let me check my other flower box I don't have a lot right now I'm that's one thing I'm starting to collect and I thought I bought a another little pack of them but I don't see them anywhere these are probably way too yeah those are too big yeah I thought I bought a little tiny pack of small flowers hmm well I might pick up some of those this one would be probably okay but do I want to take off that yeah, it looks pretty boring without it, so I better leave that on. Okay, so um, these are those little flowers. Very white. I don't know if that's too big. See, that bump is going to be hard for them to write on. Yeah, that's not going to work either. Okie dokie. Let's go on to another thing. Figure it out. Need something that's not going to interfere with their writing. And those are too bumpy. So I could do a piece of lace up here. Like that. Because then they can open it and it wouldn't be a problem. But I don't like that lace on it. Some little stickers I just got okay I'm sorry I did get a phone call so I had to step out for a minute but anyway I'm back so I'm just going to go back to this and see what else I need to do and I need to find something to put here but I think I might have to to wait and um, look around I don't want to take all that time to do that so anyway that's the finish of that one pretty much just on making those little uh, tags um, which was I thought a great idea okay so then and then this one here is probably dried so I need a journal card or something to go in there so let's see what's in the kit that I can use um, I think that might be a little too big. Yep, it would fit, but but not very good. Let's see. I was thinking about putting one of these um, up in here, which will work. I just need to put a backing on that and sew around it. So let's see. What do I want to use? Do I have anything here to back it with? Oh, I have all those papers I just made copies of. Let me see if I can find something that kind of looks nice with that. Um, I, actually, any of these would probably look good. So, I think I'll just use this plane here. So, I'll set that aside and sew that on to fill into there and um, this one's already been stitched but that's would match that tag so we don't really want exactly matching let's see if I can find another journal card these are all going to be too wide this little guy is too small. Isn't that awful when you I may have to I may have to make some um, this one looks kind of good in there but again I want to sew around it. So that one I need to put a backing on. I might just sew this on the back. It'd be very sturdy but it's writable. 
and then put a tab. Now, see the writing is so close to the top, I can't really put a tab on it. Let's see. I can find something else to use for a journal card that I could put. That would be that would be okay. It's a little tall. Well, this one might work. Yeah, I kind of like that one. I think it's uh, a little bigger. I don't know that it needs a tab because it's not in so deep. Let's see if I can if that's gonna fit. Yeah, that'll fit. So I'll sew that around that one okay so that kind of takes care of that in there now do I want to decorate this outside I'm just gonna put this over here also with my sewing do I want to decorate the outside of this mm hmm I think I do, but I'm not sure where we're going to put this. Uh, the last journal I put it a belly band. So what I thought I'd do, I've got pages here, uh, three different sets of pages. I may have showed you this on, but I'm not sure. But I need to go through and decide in what order I want them. And then I'm thinking, I don't know, I feel like I want to do something different which meaning like only putting try to handle this here like only putting um, so many pockets in each section like um, maybe three pockets in each signature and maybe a belly band in each signature and then a center page okay so Of these doily and then a small piece. I think I'm gonna have to rearrange this somewhat. All these whites together. Let's divide this up a little bit. Doily there. Cream and white. So this one, I really only, how can I only have one page, no, two pages from the, okay, one, actually two, three pages from the kit. All right. So um, somewhere, I guess this front one, I don't want that to be the front. And this one I would like to be over a printed page. Once I get this one figured out, then I'll know. Okay, maybe there. Hmm. All right. Um, Trying to get this little white one in a different spot. Okay. So this. I do like to sew like this page here with another page going in the reverse. So maybe I will find um, 
maybe out of this wallpaper kit. And so what I'll do is I'll just set this on here and stitch around this. And at the same time, then I'll go ahead and stitch my lace that I want. Okay, so that's what I'll do in that one. Okay, so let's say that's stitched on and you could write on this, but not very likely. You can write on this one and this one you can write, write, you can write on this. <laughs> right on that. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one, no. So let's say we put a belly band on this one. I could do from this to, yeah, I think I'll do that from side to side. So what can I use for a belly band? Mm, that's not, I don't like that contrast of that. I need something more solid looking. That's not long enough. Hmm. Obviously I have to cut this down. Hmm. Not crazy about it. This one would look okay. I need something. Um, you know, um, I'm looking for a fill of anything with that's cardstock. A cardstock, but that's a different picture. Mm, nope. Okay. So I would have to get up and go look for everything right at the moment while it's on camera. I I don't know. I think this might might look fine once it's smaller. And if I put something like this in there with some lace. I think that might be pretty. Let me cut this down. So let's see, how wide do I wanna make it? Like, I'm gonna try, let's see, this is probably an inch. So let me go like one and three quarters to see if that will work. Quarters. These are coffee dyed scraps that I had and was just trying to use them up. All right, so let's call it right there. That covers up the Hmm. Oh well. I just can't see where else um at the moment for a belly band. Mm -hmm. Not on the inside. I may change my mind before this is over. I'm just gonna do it on this music page. It is covering up the name of the song, but I think it'll be fine there. Okay. So before I glue that down, which I'm, I'm almost sure I'm going to glue it down, but I was thinking maybe um, I would zigzag some lace on the edge of this. Not that. 
keep picking up that pink. Um, let's see what I have here that's... This is kind of like uh, dainty. I think that would be pretty. Either right on top of this and then put this on there like that. Or zigzag it on like and you can't really see the lace when I do it that way or just put it down the center I think I like it over a little bit like that but I think I'm gonna zigzag it on I just think it'll have a better I think I'll just run it down to the end all right let me do that real quick my machine is already set up so Trim this up. It's like you have to make decisions, otherwise you just, you know. Now on this, uh, for this journal, I decided to use sort of a taupey um, brown. Um, Normally I use like a gray or something. Depends on the journal, I guess. But I'm just going to cut this down just a tad. All right. So let me put some... Oh, and my other glue, um, the whole thing just clogged up and I have to get a whole new little... Or clean it out the nozzle it got kind of weird so I'm cut that totally straight there that's better this on here. Let me ink this. Probably should have inked this a little bit. It was already pretty coffee dyed. Anyway, coffee dye this one up. Not coffee dye, I mean photo, vintage photo. Distress. Okay, so we have that, and do we need something else on here? How about, let's see, what word do we have? Do we have a short word? Okay, where'd you go, word? Pray without ceasing. You could just put pray. Hmm, where are you, words? Oh my gosh, they've got to be here somewhere. Just had them. And they're probably here right in my, 
on my desk and you can see them and I can't. I watch videos and I'm like, okay, there they are. But if not, how about believe? This is a short word. Prayer. That's a good one. I always like words in my journals, but um, it's hard to find the, you know, just the right words sometimes. Let me ink this up. And let me just nip the corners just a tad. I don't know, they just look so square. So I could put that right down there, or I could put it right up here. 50-50. Hmm. I think it looks good that way. Boy, I wish I had my little glue. But I took it to my daughter's yesterday, made a cake topper for my son-in-law. This is his 50th birthday. And I took my glue so we could glue the tape, the topper together. See, this doesn't like fabric as much. I guess if it doesn't hold, I'll have to come back with the, the trusty old fix, fix it. I don't want it to be too far over, but It does dry clear and it won't show anyways, but. All right, so that's that. And I don't know that, I don't think we need to put anything on the front of this. Maybe I will find something flat. Um, maybe a butterfly or something. Let me see. can't be too long doing this because I oh I love these but I still I need to punch them out in different colors I don't know if that would look good or not not really it blends in too much um, This is a really old photograph. I, I bought these because, um, and they were expensive. I would think, I think they were like $15 for like three back in the day when I thought I was gonna make copies of those. And then I found out that I tried to make copies but they, they just don't copy right. They kept coming out really dark. Um, I don't know what I'm looking for. Um, looking for I guess I could put a label up there because that's what um, all the other people do Gail and Rachel and everybody that's well, the same label this one's kind of pretty with the little I don't know, I like that. But it's kind of plain. Let me see what else. I, I do like that label. I think this one is too thick. And I like that one. Whoops. Yeah, that's 
That one's a long one too. I'm going to have to like shrink those up. Okay, there's labels in here. Just pull them out so I can look. They're a little bit darker. Hmm. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. So And it's funny because I never can seem to find the label that looks right. Now I don't even know what happened to the first one I picked. Oh, there it is. All right, let me put that up in there so I can. Yeah, I don't, you know, I kind of do like labels, but I kind of don't. Maybe I just have the wrong colors. Okay, so that or a butterfly, and or a really big flower. Yeah. I'm sorry if I'm taking so long, but this is the process. I've said that before, hundred times. The process. Oh, I like the pink bird. Gee. I like that. So let's see if we can work the label in and the pink bird somehow. If I do the pink bird by itself, it's kind of just hanging out there. So okay, that looks good. Okay, so I'm going to ink this up. So somebody could write a date on here, which that's what I think the labels are cool for. You know, they can write uh, maybe the date of the, that they're writing in the journal or maybe an event. Put that date outside of it. This is lifting up a little tiny bit. This was a decoupaged napkin on top of this. So I'm going to put this right there, and I'll put the bird right there. And that kind of, then with this little guy here, kind of sets it off so that it's not um, out of balance. Although I might find something else I want to put up there to go along with it. Um, glue stick this guy. Now I've got to lay it down. I don't know where. <laughs> okay, so that's cute. I like that. All right, and then, I mean, do we need another item on there? Darn it, sometimes that, or Kim wants to, you don't get it all the way down. Okay, so, um, I could put like a postage stamp up there, but I don't, I don't really think, I don't know that it needs
need something else, but that does look kind of cool. It's hard um, to decide. maybe right there just because up there it leaves room for the date or in that corner hmm ah, can't decide but I like it I'm going to put it up there just because I think that would be the unusual place to have it. it kind of looks like the corner of a postage, uh, a letter up here. All right, I did it. Okay. Waiting for the timer to go off in my oven. I've got um, butternut squash cooking. All right, so um, I'll get that tag and all that to ready for that. And we'll put this in here. The little bird kind of peeps out somewhat. I think that that's perfect. Okay, it all comes together. All right, so that page is done on that one. So that's what I'm saying. I could do, I don't know, if I want to do three pockets per book, but that might be too much. Whoops. Hmm. It seems kind of weak with that weight, this page. Darn. Hmm. I might have to put something else in here. I'll leave it there for now. And some, you see, sometimes it, these things, when they're heavy like that, they need to go on stronger pages. I've got this one too. But see, we'll put like that heavy one there, and then I'll put this heavy one in another signature, and then another heavy one in the last signature. That's what I want to do, because sometimes I get so mixed up, I don't know, um, I get too many heavy ones in one signature, and um, I don't like that. So, and this is the next envelope. Let me put this to the side for a minute. This, this one here, I want to do the next video. And um, I might have showed you this, uh, 49 Dragonflies. I think I did, and so I thought this one would be one I want to do. And um, I also did, uh, let's see, where's that paper that was the doily that I've used for the center too. Oops. Oh, I've got these. I need to pull these out or I'll forget to use them. Yeah, I don't need those pages, but. Hmm. Still looking for those little flowers. I guess I didn't, I didn't get them when I thought I bought some. Yeah, these I think might go in, in this journal. Just, I uh, just like the, this flower the looks of them um, I can't find that other doily that I printed for some reason it's got to be close by because hmm. I was thinking about using it for a center page like I did another journal
Well, that's crazy, because I know I just had it. So I don't know what I did with it. I do not know what I did with it. Oh, that bird. This bird is pretty. I'm going to put this bird in here. Because it goes with this. It goes with this journal, I think. So, and I actually can make these smaller. To fit in that belly band. Because it was so thick. But this could fit in the belly band. Let me just go back there for a minute. I know this might be confusing, but when your thought happens, you got to take advantage of it. And these tabs actually would match that. Okay, where is that? It's right here. Right in front of me. Okay, I'll take that out and then I can put this in instead. Now it's not too heavy to turn the page. All right, I like that. I'll have to find another spot for this. Let me just stick this up front here so I can remember it goes in this journal. And then I'll have to sew behind this. So I'll do a journaling page behind that. We're still good on this. Okay, so I guess that's it for today. Um, it's getting later here. And um, so if I make this one more pocket, and this will probably be heavy because it's going to have pockets and then tags and things like that in it. So that would be the third heavier pocket. Then the rest of them, hopefully, I can make more lightweight pockets. Um, you know, just journal card type pockets that would sit on the page. And then I also have um, this um, avocado dyed envelope. It was right here. But I don't know where it went. Right here. So this one, I was just going to fold up and make a pocket. I'll, I'll cover this part and we'll put something on here to make a pocket, you know, something like that, or something that size that'll fit. Sometimes I cut these out and just use the center part of it rather than uh, using that pocket and rather than going back and printing more stuff. Okay, so thanks for joining me today and um, hopefully uh, you'll subscribe if you're watching for the first time. So you can journal with me whenever you feel like it. Alrighty. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.